what it do YouTube? It's me. Can't stop a money. And we are back inside the hyperbolic reaction chamber. And this is another reaction to Assassination Classroom. Yes, guys, we're back on it. Assassination Classroom Season 2, Episode 2. Or if you want to be technical with it, Assassination Classroom Episode 24. Alright. So, first things first, thank y'all for letting me know about the whole intro thing. I I guess I had got a misunder I guess I misunderstood it. And uh so yeah, we're gonna be listening to that nice little lovely intro that I haven't seen yet. And uh I'll be looking out for the new one on fifteen of y'all said. Or something like that. Yeah, I, I got I got I got what y'all was saying. Alright. So what to expect? I don't know what to expect. When we last left off, we saw the Reaper for the first time. You know, he killed Lord Bros. He just did this. And Lord Bros just died. Got shot in the chest. They rose Core Sensei's bounty price up to assassination price up to thirty billion yen for the kids that they killed. Oh my god. We saw Nagas' dad. What a way to start off season two. I can't wait to see what happens next, guys. So happy Valentine's Day to you all, of course. Today's Valentine's Day. Um I wanna go ahead and say this. Do I wanna go do I wanna say it now? Yeah, I'll go ahead and say it now. All right, before we begin, guys, I want to let y'all know, um, in about five days, it'll be my birthday. Yes, Can't Stop Money has a birthday coming up February on the 19th, where I'm going to be out of town the next, uh, not not now, but on the 16th, I'll be out of town for those three days, some sort of, but I will have videos lined up for you guys, uh, for Assassin's Classroom with Bebop and... I'll possibly do Dragon Ball Super on that Saturday, hopefully, if I could. But uh, I'll, I'll keep y'all posted on that. So I'll let y'all know that. I might drop a video to let everybody else know. Because, you know, not everybody watches Assassination Classroom. So, yeah, that's what will happen. So, yes, yeah, I got a birthday coming up. So I can't wait. All right. So, without further ado, the video will be played right here in this corner. And also, if you want to see the full uncut reaction, of course... In its entirety, click the link in the description below to my Google Drive where you can see it for yourself. Alright, let's get into this, guys. This is Assassination Classroom Season 2, Episode 2, right now. I've gathered you all here today, September 9th. still on break, for a very important reason. Our nation's current egg surplus crisis. Poultry farmers across the land are throwing out their excess in bulk. Right. I heard about that on the news. It's a real waste. Okay. It is. So I've drafted a proposal to salvage those poor eggs and assassinate Koro Sensei in a way that's almost guaranteed to be foolproof. Are <sighs> we killing him with surplus eggs? What? Okay. You're gonna make an omelet throwing a couple of these babies? Like you won't see that coming from a mile away. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it a little bit more thought than that. In fact, my plan's already in motion, thanks to Mr. Karasuma. Right. All the stuff you need's been set up outside. Excellent. Everybody to the yard. What well, she got planned? I'll give them that. How they come up with this stuff, I'll never know. Let's see Kyle knows Kyle knows plan. Eggs and a mold. Are we making Yep! It's exactly what you think. We are going to whip up a ginormous pudding. I give you Operation Pudding Popper. Okay. So no wonder she likes to hold pudding in her hand. Let's see this intro. I can see myself singing them, singing the lyrics. The idea is to plant bombs and anti sensi BBs into the giant pudding space. When he eats his way to the bottom, we detonate! <laughs> This is starting to sound like it's worth that a sounds shot. Interesting. I'm with you on that. Cora Sensei loses his marbles when it comes to anything sweet. And since Kaya is right. not that proactive, there's the element of surprise. He won't be suspicious. Right. All right, then. Okay, Let's this might work. He's not around and make ourselves a giant pudding. Yeah! And what are these for? Fruit sauce and edible mousse wrappers to add the occasional burst of new flavor. Vanilla is scrumptious and all, but think about it. Wouldn't you get sick of the same taste bite after bite in something so large? Sure you would. True. Okay. Of course you would. Of course you would. Course you would. Drop the lid on and let the whole thing chill. This isn't just any old pudding mold either. The outer walls are fitted with pipes that have coolant circulating through them. Pretty neat, huh? 
A pudding with this much volume needs to be chilled through. We're talking inside and out. Wow. This is as much dialogue as she ever had. Be an expert on giant pudding. We did it! Holy crap! Wow! That's sure Look at delicious. that! You completely forget there's a bomb planted in there. And with that, Kayano's gigantic killer pudding was ready to be served. Look at that pudding! And and I'm allowed to eat this entire thing? Oh, uh, sure. I just didn't want those eggs going to some landfill. This was all Kayano's idea, you know. <laughs> oh, you made me so happy. We better get going. Look at that. Look at that appraisal. Be late for English. Now you've got a promise to eat every last bite. Not a problem. Make it sound so suspicious. <laughs> At last, my dreams come true. Thank you. Come on, we'll watch the detonation from inside. Oh, yeah, okay. It'll be all his. It'll be tastiest if the flavor changes halfway through. Ah, oh, that makes sense. I'll use a scale model to test its strength first. I definitely have kind of cook for me. My pudding! I can't let something I put my heart and soul into be blown to smithereens! Why are you going to eat it by the time you get them? Pudding, not the family pet. It's it's right! It's supposed to be blown to smithereens! We can't! We'll just stand in the schoolyard forever as a monument! Ew, gross! My jaws need a break. <laughs> oh, that hurts. The deliciousness, that hurts. Whip up this. Uh, the ball. And the detonator's been detached. I ate a path from caramel to pudding to dirt and proceeded to tunnel from underneath to remove it. Uh, I assume the bomb was your handiwork, Takabayashi. Uh huh. Well, your calculations were spot on, and if I had not picked up on the distinct scent of plastic explosives, your scheme might have very well worked. Next time, you'll account for strange odors, right? Right. Oh, <laughs> man. I swear he gets shame, it. He gets it every time. I bet you're relieved, though. <laughs> Honestly, no offense, but I didn't think you had it in you to be so hardcore. It was cool to watch. A nice change of pace. Hmm. Got a point. That's what it is to be an assassin. Not even your close friends get to see your true blade. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's more where that came from. I've got all kinds of jiggly weapons. Here, even a pudding expert can be a top-notch assassin. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, she's so cute. I heard that. Ridge, 80 meters. Holy crap. Boom. Oh my god. Cross was OP. You're under arrest. Caught you red handed. Uh. Okachiba, Hayumi, Chiba, Fuwa, you're out. Dude, I'm telling you, don't get caught. He's making us do worksheets. It sucks. <laughs> this isn't some battle manga. Seriously, how'd you not know he was on your tail till after he tagged you? Look, just be careful. He's like a ninja. For all you know, he's right there. Exactly. Sugaya! Sugaya! <laughs> Big man's on the hunt all by his lonesome? Well, that works for me. I'll just pull him down by his tagging hand and booyah. We'll go at it right here in the wilderness. Bad cop, good cop will take on a whole new meaning. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, we just got tagged out, right? Huh. Wait a second. This is cops and robbers. Technically, we can tag them back in. Okina, you're a genius. Yeah, sure. Have fun. <laughs> like anybody's breaking out of jail with the supersonic octopus on duty. If it wasn't <laughs> exactly. under his radar, we'd have offed him months ago. You have a point. <laughs> this gone come so you back, know, man. You come to bust us out? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, we can just this one time. Sugi no now! <laughs> yep, there Nine you go. Prisoners free. Uh, damn it. Mind explaining how prisoners are escaping on your watch? <laughs> They're shrewder than we give them credit for. <laughs> but good heavens, those things are really enormous! Are you taking bribes? Look, whatever. If you let the next group escape, so help me. When I told him what we we're playing, he texted back, win one for me. <laughs> If he finds out I was captured, the shock might be too much. Go. Uh, 
This cop never saw anything. <laughs> so <chill. laughs> Karasama, do you copy? How in the world are these inmates breaking out of my prison? That's my line, you moron! <laughs> Time's up! Game over! Oh, oh Ritsu. Can't about breathe. friggin' time. No way. I gotta go back and read this. An excellent beginning to second term, it must be said. The mutual respect and trust the students and I share grow stronger by the day. How wonderful it is to see their shining faces look up at me with such unbridled disgust! <laughs> <laughs> They're totally talking about you, aren't they? How could you do that stuff? We're very disappointed in you, sir. No, wait! Oh, must have been I'm a piece of time. I don't even know anything about this! So, have an alibi? Eddie, what now? Where were you on the evenings of the incidents in question? And can anybody back you up? Let me see. I was vigorously shaking a bag of seasoned fries, alternating between an altitude of 10,000 meters and 3,000 meters, respectively. No one can back that up! That's enough, guys. Yeah. Come on, he's not- Nobody can back that up! creepy thing, sure. But even if you add them all together, what have you really got? Oh my god, guys! Check out the roll book! He put letters next to all the girls' names. Carl sensei knows our cup sizes. Ah, what the hell is forever flat supposed to mean? You ain't on two big emoji face, And what about time? this? A breakdown of all the girls in Kunigi Gauka with an F cup or above? Wait, I... That can't possibly... He doesn't know anything about it, but... You know what we need. A good old-fashioned after-school barbecue. Doesn't that sound like fun? He's said forever flat. Get these succulent skewers I threw together. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Wow. This is nauseating. Gross. Somebody did it. I don't know what I'd do with super speed, but I can tell you one thing. If I stole underwear, I sure as hell wouldn't be sloppy enough to leave evidence behind. I found that in the equipment shed. Koro Sensei's no fool. He understands, knows he'd be dead to us over something like this. His whole life's about being a teacher. Between losing our respect and being assassinated, all bets are off which of those things he'd go more out of his way to avoid. Yeah. Have True. to agree with you. Then who's the sicko doing all this stuff? An imposter. Who? <gasps> that color, that laugh. We're dealing with an archetype. A fake sensei! The double, the doppelganger, all this super trope in the book! <laughs> Which means our culprit is intimately familiar with Koro Sensei and his quirks. Hey, huh? let's you and me play detective, Ritsu. Yes! Something. All right. Lines. As for what's in this for the real culprit, your guess is as good as mine. But we gotta put a stop to him. If the rumor mill runs Koro Sensei out of town, there goes our bounty. And then what's all this been for? We'll lose our shot at this. If on and the, the planet. other hand we catch the real guy ourselves, Teach will be in our debt. Yeah! Forever flat. Justice will prevail now the great and very Oh, okay, now they does grow some. Case. And based on the suspect's profile, the probability that he'll show is 99.78%. Indeed, because camp's over wow. after tomorrow, and no way is our man gonna let these top tier trophies slip through his fingers. Uh -huh. Oh, this music. Heads up. Someone's here. A big guy with a yellow head. I knew it. So it is a frame up. Oh. Look at him move. Okay. That's not normal. Uh oh, he's getting away. Gotcha. How dare you Damn. impersonate me and act out my lurid fantasies? Well, so long as everyone thinks I'm pilfering unmentionable, I might as well take yours. <laughs> I don't know. That doesn't I look right. Okay. Hey, the eyewitness reports were right about his head. Now, let's see your true face, imposter. Is it Karasuma? Isn't that guy Mr. Karasuma's underling? <laughs> you? Who? What earthly reason <laughs> could you have for <laughs> The government was kind enough to let me have one of Karasuma's men on loan. I oh my god. To lure you into this pen of anti Eating this little. <laughs> little. 
Not unlike Whatever you the call your students devised on the island, yes? Oh, those are the clothes. Such nimble minds oh, the, the young have. Lure, confine, and strike. That voice. Now then, Koro Sensei. Let your final death match begin. <laughs> final death match? Eight on us! Don't do this to me! Oh my god, I'm saying, oh shit though! Why does it do this to me every time, guys? Oh my god! All right. So to wrap thing, uh, to have it wrapped up, the first part of the episode, it felt like it, it felt like a it felt short, but it felt like a long episode at the same time. I don't know. The first part of the episode with the pudding was pretty nice. It was good to see Kaino's uh Kaino finally do something because you like you know like I said you'll see the person you'll see the girl next to the main character guy Nagi, so you think she'll. You know, I guess, but this but it's, it's great to find that she finally had like you know a little episode, a little part of the episode to herself. So that's great. The rest of the episode at the, the next part of it, funny. At the beginning, when they was playing tag, that was the most funniest epic tag at the same time that I've ever seen of cops and robbers. <laughs> oh, poor Miss Yellow bitch. But uh, we have the ending where. You'll see where it was supposedly of course sensei sneaking bras and panties. Um <laughs> and then measuring measuring everybody else's um cup size and draw size or whatever like that. Just to get him a little just to get him a little embarrassed. Just to lead him into a trap and to have an actual death match with uh last final death match with Ituna. And a big old thing with anti Core Sensei clothes or cloths or whatever you might want to call it, the material, because you've seen them when when Core Sensei touched old guy's uh, shoulder one time, his, his tentacle exploded. So I gotta see this, guys. Oh my god, that was awesome. Um, guys, what y'all thought about that? Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new. I hate cliffhangers, and I'll be sure to see you all in my next one. Sayonara. <laughs>